Hello everyone, my name is Nidhi Shandelia and I'm part of Teams Platform Engineering. Uh, this demo is about an app template called Company Communicator. Uh, app templates are production ready open sourced apps that we in platform uh, engineering are uh, building out and open sourcing so that uh, anybody and everybody can uh, take Teams as a product and extend it to suit wide variety of uh, business scenarios and make it even more powerful. Uh, the reason we worked on this app template uh, company communicator is uh, we've, we've been getting this constant feedback that, hey, uh, Teams typically has a, a size limit on the number of uh, individuals in a team and uh, communicating across different teams uh, and within teams is something that uh, would be super useful for organizations. Uh, number two is um, each organization uh, or each customer has their own unique uh, business workflow scenarios and needs. Uh, and number three is the ability to lend uh, a unique brand, a voice uh, and presence uh, for, for communicating to all employees or all uh, users in an organization was something that's important. So for those reasons, we, we thought we'll uh, bring this uh, foundational capability out as an open sourced app uh, and then literally take to take it and bring it in, uh, in, in your uh, line of business app scenario just becomes like a very minimal effort. So let me uh, begin with a uh, with a quick uh, demo. So I'm going to assume that for for my particular instance, the scenario is corporate communications. There is a team of collaborators uh, that are part of this team. They come here and collaborate around content, planning, and all sorts of things. Uh, they want to be able to reach out across the organization on Teams. So for that, they have this tab, uh, and this constitutes one of the parts of the Company Communicator app template. Uh, this tab uh, is role-based, so uh, in the configuration, you define who gets access to this tab. So by default, and not anybody and everybody in this team or in the organization can get access to it. Only those who have the privilege uh, can come here and create these messages. Uh, this would be for security uh, and privacy purposes. So let's say to create a new message, um, you click on this button and uh, there's a there's a view where you uh, create your message in in one place and it shows you a preview uh, as to how it will render. Uh, for brevity's sake, uh, there's something that I've already started. So let's say, you know, I'm working on app templates. I want the entire uh, entirety of my organization to know, hey, like this is coming. Uh, this is available for you today. Uh, as you can see, I can type a title and it renders uh, here in a preview. Uh, if I have a link to it, uh, to the image, it's uh, publicly accessible. Uh, it uh, automatically formats the picture and positions it here. Uh, I can uh, paste uh, lift and shift content from, uh, from my link and paste it here. Um, there's also an author field, so think of it from, from, from the perspective of uh, Office of the CEO or HR organization. You want the ability to be able to uh, send messages, um, you know, uh, using uh, those sort of uh, qualifiers. Uh, and then there's a, a button title. Uh, for example, uh, it, it could be, uh, the button could be called anything, uh, and it always redirects to the URL that you uh, input here. So in this particular scenario, I want people to learn more and visit the link. Uh, so uh, that's what the button's titled. Uh, and then the link is the actual URL of the full catalog of app templates of which Company Communicator is one. So I go next. And then there are uh, three options for me in terms of targeting the specific audiences. Uh, number one is uh, I just care about teams. Uh, I have my organization structured in uh, various teams and I want the ability to target specific teams with this communication. This would go out as a general channel post. Uh, so it's a, a drop down. I select the teams that are part uh, of my organization uh, and then I have that ability. The number two is uh, send and chat to specific uh, members of a team. So let's say I'm a retail store, uh, I, you know, uh, I'm some, someone who has lots and lots of retail stores and each store is its own team. Uh, most of the employees of these stores are always on the go, always on mobile and like uh, helping customers. 
they don't have a desktop. You want to be able to reach them uh, while they're on the go and ideally in a chat construct uh, as quick and easy as a chat message. So that's where you would want to pick a, uh, I want to pick these teams and just send to people in these teams as a chat message. And then the third one is uh, send in chat to everybody. Uh, the scenario here would be, you know, a new initiative uh, in the organization is launched, or let's say a new app is uh, installed, uh, made available in the uh, app catalog or in for internal employees. Uh, that this would be a great candidate to then just do a blast email out to all users on Teams. So then, uh, let's say I uh, select send to. Uh, 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 sent a, a general channel uh, of specific teams, and I select, let's say, my team just for, for demo purposes. Um, so then I uh, click Save as a draft, uh, and here's the cool part. Uh, I can have a discussion about this particular item right here uh, alongside the tab. So it brings all of that collaboration very contextually, uh, and this is all the goodness of the Teams tabs that, that, that they provide. So let's say I've done everything that I want and I'm ready to uh, send it. Uh, I can uh, click send and it'll throw me uh, a warning message that, hey, you're about to send it to these teams, these people, are you sure? I click hit uh, send and it would go ahead and uh, prepare the message uh, for sending to different teams. Uh, and then if I uh, navigate to my team, this is how the message renders as a channel uh, post. And then if I click on uh, learn more, it will take me to uh, the page, which is the page for app templates. Now that we're here, you can see Company Communicator is publicly available, open source. You click on get it on GitHub, uh, and then um, you know uh, we can come back to uh, what does it take to deploy this uh, app template uh, inside of your organization. But going back to the screen, there are a couple other uh, cool things uh, in this app template. For example, uh, you do get basic telemetry on the recipients. Uh, so if you look at it, um, you get a sense of uh, who it was, uh, how many people it was delivered to, date sent, and things like that. Uh, in future, we could also have capabilities such as telemetry on uh, who liked, uh, how many people liked uh, a particular message, uh, and then uh, if, if you want to make in uh, acknowledgement and those sort of features, those are all great ways to extend uh, this app template. And the great part is that there are no dependencies there. You can take the code and build on top of it any customization that you would want to uh, make. But out of the box, it works as I demoed uh, and you can derive instant value. So one uh, final question, and then uh, it, the chat message again would uh, basically render the same way. Uh, it is. It would uh, render the same message if you picked a uh, chat message uh, with people. Uh, it would show up, uh, you know, just like that. So imagine if I'm an animation studio and I want to, uh, you know, have a quick iteration with wide variety of teams that I uh, am part of. Uh, you know, I could use that to get get quick feedback and kind of. Uh, you know, collaborate with my team members uh, or organizations, uh, organization better. So uh, taking a few frequently asked questions about uh, company communicator, one, one thing that we've heard loud and clear is, uh, you know, there's a lot of friction in users having to go and install a particular app. Uh, now there are pre-install APIs available uh, via leveraging which uh, you can install this app uh, for all of your users in, in your tenant. Uh, and then that gives the ability for app uh, for this app to proactively message uh, them uh, without having to rely on the users installing the app first. Uh, this is a highly privileged access, uh, as you can imagine. So it's gated by graph APIs and only uh, you know the, the admins or those who have pr the, the specific privileges are able to do so. So uh, what, it, what does it take to deploy this app in your environment? Uh, you know, uh, aka.ms Teams app templates. This is the catalog of all app templates. You navigate to Company Communicator, get it on GitHub, and then we've provided detailed documentation uh, here. Uh, all you need is an Azure subscription and uh, follow these steps. Uh, the reason it's super detailed is that we want to make it super easy to consume. So, uh, you know, in a matter of half hour or so, uh, you can uh, get this to a working deployed app. 
uh, you don't need necessarily need a developer to have a working version in Teams. Uh, this is uh, super simplified and uh, just as easy as uh, following a bunch of uh, instructions. Uh, there are a couple of things that you would want to consider uh, if there are any costs associated with uh, uh, estimated costs, Azure costs here. Uh, there's also a solution overview for a lot of line of business internal applications. You would have uh, info security privacy reviews. So we've detailed, uh, we've, we have detailed documentation of uh, what that uh, means here. And then by way of uh, data, where's the data residing, who has access to it. So this, this repo contains all of those uh, items as well. So go on, give this a try, uh, share your feedback with us either directly or on the app templates landing page uh, all the way at the bottom. And if you have ideas for new app templates, uh, please share, us, uh, share those with us here. All right, thank you so much for your time today.